So how did you come to need a prophylactic mastectomy? How did that happen? Yeah, I had my testing done in early 2014, and okay. that's when I found out that I was BRCA2 positive. BRCA2 positive. Mm -hmm. So that's more than just breast cancer yeah. positive, right? Colon cancer as well. Ovarian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, June was my hysterectomy, full hysterectomy with Ooh. uterus. And the ovaries. And the ovaries, yep. So you yep. went right into menopause. Yep, yep. Boom. I had my double mastectomy in September that same year and I had them remove my nipples and everything. Wow. At the same time of the surgery, they put in my- uh, Tissue expanders? Yeah, my expanders. Within three months, I had my exchange put in. So you went from expanders to gel silicone implants, yes? Mm -hmm. And then I went and got my nipples tattooed on. So when you had the exchange of the expander for the implants and you took off the dressing and you look in the mirror, how much like this did it look? Um, not so much like that. So it got worse? It got worse. What was going on with that lip of excess skin and why couldn't the implant get in there to expand it out? A big fear of mine is that it's still breast tissue that mm -hmm. they never got. The whole point of doing a prophylactic mastectomy is to remove breast tissue so the risk of developing breast cancer has been minimized. Since Shanna had a general surgeon remove the breast tissue before the plastic surgeon did the reconstruction, it seems unlikely that he would leave breast tissue in the left breast. If they did that, it would be unacceptable and frankly, quite devastating.